All right, I'm live. Hi, everybody. Let me know in the comments if you are able to hear me okay. And yeah, this is going to be a uh, live plan with me. Not a hot mess plan with me, but it might be a bit of a hot mess because fuck, dude. Who the fuck knows? Anyway, so. Um, yeah, this is a plan with me. Aaron Condren neutral. Planning out the week of Monday the 4th. Blah, blah, blah. Probably about an hour. I am very low energy right now, but I really want to do this because I want... God, fuck you, Hexagon. Ever since I saw the new planner without this fucking bullshit, this... I, it's the first time I've opened this planner up in like a month, and this is just like... And these, they're just like sticking in my craw, whatever the fuck that means. So, hi, everybody. I'm so excited that you're here. So what am I gonna use today? I'm actually gonna use these, well, that was loud, these stickers. It's a little like half kit from Cricut Paper Co. It was their swag from the candy shop back in October and I love how happy the colors are. They're all like washi tape crafty shit and I grabbed some colorful washi tape to use them and we're just gonna, we're gonna get going here, my dudes. So let's, let's start this. So let me pull out my washi tape white out all my pieces anyway i apologize in advance hi everyone i apologize in advance for the uh background noise it's beautiful outside we've got the windows and the doors open to keep the house aired out since we spend so much time here and my allergies are terrible if i blow out the phone with my sneezing i apologize but there's it's going to be noise we're all stuck inside right so anyhow I think first things first, we're going to just cover this hexagon bullshit right up, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. What are you laughing at, Jesse? If you had a bunch of fucking bullshit peach-colored hexagons on your shit, you could... I wish I could cover up more of my problems with nice tape. That is a philosophical thing to say, Jesse. You are a philosopher of your age. Yeah, or they're going to use it against me in court one day. <laughs> so anyway yeah so i actually have some stuff on my list i mean you know again once i actually have to go out of the house i have to go get an ultrasound on my fistula but then um i have a meeting that i thought i missed this last week because i wasn't feeling good and i didn't miss it apparently i just missed what day it was scheduled for so there is that uh date covers date covers date covers actually let me see here um, we'll cut, we'll do the light green here. You're taking this week off of work. Oh man, Kelsey, I'm so sorry that that sounds rough, but I hope that this week is at least restful for you as best as it can be. Yeah, so I am, like I said, I am, uh, I have an ultrasound this week. I have a meeting this week. Kat has a meeting, uh, like an all-day meeting this weekend, this next weekend that is. Um, so, and we probably should figure out if we want to get someone to deliver to the house for Mother's Day because that would be lovely. And as I am the mother, I suppose I get the choice. You sure do. I'll cook for you also. You'll cook for me also? Well, that's lovely. Thank you. Let me take this one and put it on top. But I can't give you your usual Mother's Day gift this year. Of a day to myself? Getting kids out of your hair for the whole time. Yeah, sadly. Well, there was the one time for my birthday where we were all home. I just got to wear headphones and ignore everybody for like two hours. I remember that. That was awesome. I watched Black Swan on my phone. I killed this washi tape. I killed it so many. Come on. Yes. After so many trials and tribulations, I got my washi tape back. Yeah. Well, we're in California, so I'm curious to know how long our shit's going to last for. But, I mean, I was telling my patrons about this earlier. Oh, fuck. I did it again. Okay, you know what? Fuck this washi tape. Fuck you right in the ear. We'll go with the purple. Um, so, oh, no, it was not my patron hangout. It was talking, we had a Zoom call this morning to talk to Jesse's parents over in Long Island. And um, one of the things 
that I mentioned was how I can't picture how like normal, quote unquote, normal life is going to look, you know, like once the restrictions, are, like, I can't picture just going back to like what we did before without, you know, feeling like paranoid or stressed out or whatever, like assume it just all got taken away in a heartbeat. Like it, the thing was just decimated and gone and we were all like, hell yeah. These are all really bright and some of this is pale. I'm gonna take this green one here. We'll use that. Anyway, yeah, normal is gone. Um, but yeah, so, Ooh, you're going to order Chipotle for your husband's birthday? We would do that for RJ, too. RJ fucking loves Chipotle. RJ would... I think we did do that to celebrate his birthday in lieu of... Uh... Not being able to go to Brazilian Steakhouse, right. which is his normal birthday dinner. But I feel like a Brazilian Steakhouse is like the antithesis of what you're supposed to be doing during the pandemic. <laughs> but, um... Wait a minute. Is that washi tape yellowed? That's, ew. Can you see that? It's like stained. This is another old one. Yeah, with the feeling we're gonna be required to wear masks in public buildings. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Like, and my problem is, I mean, and this is like total first world problems here when it comes to masks. Um, total first world problems. I can't fucking breathe in them. Yep, it's stained. Okay. We're gonna put try another piece of this. It looks like somebody pee peed on it. Like it looks, it looks like it was dipped in urine, and that's not the aesthetic I'm going for in my planner today. Maybe some other day. Not today though. Yeah, they fog my glasses too. I get warm and I cannot breathe. Like I feel like I'm fucking drowning in one. So, and again, I know it's a first world problem. I get it, but I'm just letting you know. Steakhouse, Brazilian steakhouse sounds like a mankini wax. <laughs> oh yes, for RJ's birthday. <laughs> get a bulk discount <laughs> getting our Brazilian steakhouses <sighs> yes and if you hear me sniffling and sneezing I do not have the Rona I have the allergies just letting you know alright keeping it 100% with you guys here EC, yeah, I never, I missed out on the EC masks. I did not get any of those. The masks that I do have were made by friends and they're awesome. They work really well. They do what they need to do. They're just, I just can't breathe. So I think, but that's okay. We'll make it work. We'll do what we need to do. They keep restocking. I'll have to check it out because I went to the site. I'll tell you guys. Okay, so you watched my video. Most of you did. The live stream where I um, talked about the Aaron Condren, the vertical, the horizontal, which is the one they sent me. Well, I ordered the daily. The daily duo. Because everybody and their mother is raving about it on YouTube. Like... All these people that I know got sent the Daily Planner 
are all like, fuck yeah, daily planners, fuck yeah, and like mocking them up and using them and redating them and all that. Now, first of all, first of all, I hate redating shit. You probably may ask, but Cindy, isn't that what you're doing at this very minute? No, I'm not redating it. I'm putting down date covers. There's a difference. There's not a difference. It's actually very much the same thing. But this I'm doing to decorate, not because the planner does not have the right days on it. So semantics, I know. I can choose to do this, but then I cannot do this for the rest of the planner and still be fine. I don't want to have to redate things. Like that's crooked and I'm just going to fucking leave it because who cares? Anyway, I saw all these people having like, you know, planner orgasms over the Daily Duo. And I was like, well, I need to take a look at that because every year when I choose my new planner, whether I get sent it or whether I buy it myself, whether I, whatever I decide to use, I swear to God, I always pick the most boring choice. Everybody else gets excited about everybody and their mother, all the trends all are like, hey, this is the thing we all love. And I'm like, and I'm sitting over here with my milk toast planner and it's cool. So I'm going to order the daily duo to check it out, see what I think of it. And when that happens, I'll make that video or do a live stream, probably a live stream or whatever the case may be. So I'm just saying, let's, let's, let's be, let's keep it real here. All right, so I'm gonna do some covering of some stuff up. I'm gonna take one of these, which one? Which one? This one, and put it over the ugly hexagon, because I hate these hexagons. No, this is not a previously used kit. It's just a, it's just like a half-sized kit that was swag at an event, Jessica. Um. <laughs> I'm looking at the comments. You feel like I'm not going to like the daily? We'll see how this goes. And Jen, I see you in the comments and I know I owe you an email. It has just been under my radar this week with and all the past weeks with everything going on but i know you know that i'm just letting you know i also know i owe you an email so <laughs> anyway yeah the other thing the daily doesn't come in neutral that was one thing i noticed so i'm just covering shit up you guys i'm just covering shit up so now we see the prediction of how i'm feeling how i'm feeling about how i'll feel about the daily whatever so We'll see. But I'm just letting you know I ordered that and that I very specifically ordered it because um, because I knew that uh, everyone and their fucking mother was all about that life. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a box in all of these bottom ones. I know I don't need the uh, all this whole size. And so I'm just going to decorate the whole bottom with bright colors because this is so pale. No, I'm not going daily, Jessica, at least unless it's like some glorious epicness. No, I'm just, I'm just, uh, now you know what, because of this like little space, I'm going to put some washi tape down first. We're going to do some, some fucking shit right here. Anyway, um, okay, good. We're all, we're both like, why was the broom late for the meeting? It overswept. <laughs> um, yes, Jen, we're both in like a hot mess place these days. I'm just letting you know that I haven't forgotten about you. That one really made me bristle. That made you bristle? Ah! <laughs> I see what you did there. Aw, thank you. I painted my nails. I am feeling like garbage today, Mariah, but thank you for the well wishes. Um, on the bright side, I feel like I might almost be getting used to this garbage feeling, which is not a good thing, but also, you know, it's a necessary, like those of you with chronic illness, especially progressive chronic illness, where it gets worse, like it's gonna get worse, you know that your new normal, like you have to come to terms and like, acclimate to your new normal otherwise life is fucking impossible and the faster you feel shitty the harder it is to acclimate to your new normal so um you know if you have any sort of progressive chronic illness the 
the sigh of relief that kind of comes when you sort of acclimate a little bit to your new normal so that you realize that like you might be able to get on with some semblance of your day, which maybe is why I'm feeling up to, uh, to, uh, you know, laying down some fucking stickers with you guys. Jesse does need social interaction out of the house. Thankfully, they do a bunch of shit with his work. Like, they had a happy hour for his team on, like, a virtual happy hour for his team on Friday. Friday and thank you. And um, Jesse and his project manager and someone else, right, Jess? You guys went and picked up delivery. No, it was just us. I mean, it was feeling really sick. So they went and picked up um, delivery, like they picked up takeout and then delivered it to the doorsteps of everybody on the team so that they could all have yummy food together while they, while they hung out. Shout out to a vow for having delicious food. Shout out to a vow. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's another, how is everyone... No, Jessica, I just, I'm just feeling, I'm feeling super shitty, but you know what? I like being online. I like talking to you guys and I just can't do like, I can't drink a like, pound booze and marathon three hours of stamping in my planner right now. I just don't have the stamina for that. So, and this is a whole lot of sticker putting down. Is it me procrastinating? on whether or not I'm going to actually plan. I don't know. Maybe, or maybe I'm just setting my planner up so that I can write my plans down. Maybe I did the real planning work earlier on a notepad and now I'm just going to transfer it. Who knows? So many questions. So Sorry, ma you didn't do pre work. Ah, <sighs> oh, Christine, I'm, I'm sorry that you're having to understand it, but I'm glad to help. All right, got some color, some British color in here. You don't like your, your coworkers enough to happy hour with them? Um, well, luckily, Jesse doesn't have that problem. Jesse really likes his coworkers, so they're really great. They're great people. Okay, so look at this. Look how bright and happy this is. This is, this is happiness is a warm planner. What? Okay, so my weekend sticker can go right here. Look at that, even though... Whatever. Okay. So there's all that. Now what I want to do, we got this all in here. What I'm going to do is put the weather here and I'm going to make a list of the meals that I have available to cook here because I don't want to meal plan every day because I'm finding that to be way too stressful. What do you mean by that, Cindy? You, you may ask. Well, what I mean by that is, um, what I mean by that is that I am not cooking every day like I, well, not like I cook every day, but I am not the one doing the majority of the cook. Well, I am not doing 99% of the cooking right now. I'm doing less because I'm not feeling good. And there are days that cooking is just too hard for me. And so Jesse will cook and he is doing a fantastic job at it. But there are some things that I make that I don't know if he could make or that I don't know if he was want to fight his way through. And so I'm looking for a specific sticker, by the way. And I don't even know what it is this week. Anyway, so he is, so what meal we make that day in part depends on whether or not I am going to, uh, I'm going to cook or he's going to cook. Do you know what I mean? So instead, we are going to, I'm just gonna make a list of the meals that I actually have and we'll pick from it each day when it is time. Oh, I know what I'm looking for. What the fuck am I even doing here? Um, we'll pick based on who who's cooking and what is going bad and so on and so forth. So yes, Jesse is an MVP. I will fully agree with you. There we go. That's what I was looking for, my meal plan stickers. All right. And um Let's 
let's find the green kind of color I want. Bright. Here we go. Sorry, it's taking way longer than it should. Why is this taking so long, Cindy? Why? That one. We'll do the yellow. It's been a while. I'm not used to... Been a while. I'm not used to uh, going through all my stickers. It's been like a month at least, I think, <laughs> since I've really done this like in a serious fashion. I mean, I guess you can go through my channel and look. But fuck, dude. I am crooked is what I am. <sighs> all these dad jokes in the comments. You guys. You guys are... Debomb.com. Oh, happy birthday, Amy. How much would I... <laughs> what kind of pens do I use on my my Christian Design stickers? I use Sakura Microperm 03 Meal Plan. So it's not actually a meal plan. It's a list of meals, but you get the point. Sakura Micro... Sakura... I can't even fucking say it. Sakura Microperm 03. I use the Le Pen Permanent, or you can just use a Sharpie... Ultra fine marker. New to EC planning. Will my happy planner sticker is going to fit? They some of them will, but the boxes and things like that are going to be a different size. They're going to be slightly. When does a joke become a dad joke? When it becomes a parent. You got Jesse. You got Jesse with that one. Thank you for the super chat, Cheryl. Say, what's the reverse of a super chat? <laughs> <laughs> no, extra fine therapies are the ones that are hard to find. Um, you can see the difference between them. Uh, so an ultra fine Sharpie, which is my favorite, and those are the ones that are hard to find. The extra fine, the, this, part, this part's gray, and the tip is plastic. The metal tip and the dark, like the color butt right here, those are the ultra fine ones. Those ones are easy to find. Aw, thanks, Joanna. Yesterday I saw a guy spill all of his Scrabble letters on the street. I asked him, what's the word on the street? Yes, Helen, it will be up later. I'm sorry that your internet is super choppy. So the first, I'm gonna write down um, all of my meals that I have currently in waiting. What pen am I gonna use? What pen am I gonna use? I am going to use the Pitt Artist Pen in the S tip. All right, so what do we have? We have tomato, tortellini soup. Oh, nice. Soup. I know how to make that one You now. do know how to make that one. We have tacos. And that we have beef. And we have chicken. Chicken is in the freezer. My handwriting is fucking garbage right now. We have chicken drumsticks, which we might have today. So I might be crossing this one off. Did I spit on my planner? Drumsticks. We have um, stuff for breakfast. For, we have chick. Oh, we, sorry. I can't talk. We have chicken pesto mozzarella. We have tilapia, which is also in the freezer. And then we have stuff for Brenner. And we have stuff to make fried rice. So there's all of our meal options. And so we'll just pick them. We'll pick them uh, as it goes. Hear about the new restaurant called Karma. There's no menu. You get what you deserve. Why did the coffee file a police report? It got mugged. Oh my god. These are so bad, you guys. Yeah, that's why I don't want you to read them out loud. 
Yeah, well, you're the one who likes puns, okay? <laughs> oh, that's cat. Um, that's right in the room. All right, so we have, and then I'm going to put the weather in here really quick, and I'm going to use that that aforementioned Sakura Microperm. Ooh, quesadilla sounds good, Debbie. Um, it's going to be warm this week. It was warm last week, too. And I'm just going to write the whole week's worth of weather here, because if I come back to my planner, then... I will be amazed. Are you okay there, buddy? Are you choking? No. Okay, thank you. Do you want to work, or are you just going to go for that? What are you eating, dude? Oh, he's just going for an avocado. Did you just put salt on it? Or what? And hot sauce. sauce salt and hot sauce on an avocado. Oh my God, guys, what did I do? So Kristen, this is all from Cricut Paper Co. Um, this is a swag kit from an event, but they're, all their stuff is this bright and cute. Like their colors are them, Cricut Paper Co. and K Glam Co., who I think rebranded to a little sparkle, something like that. They are both awesome for really vibrant, like super bright kits and colors. Where am I at? I lost my place. My kidney brain fog is so bad, you guys. So one of the things that happens, the worse your kidneys get, is you start getting brain fog really bad because your blood is so, like, dirty that nothing works right. Like, you know, my doctor explained it really well, like a fucking, you know, fish tank filter, pond filter. You know, like, your pond water is getting, like, dirty pond water, like, all full of gunk and algae and shit. And for the life of me, I cannot keep a train of thought going for longer than like a second. And I was always been, I have always been super absent minded and lose my train of thought. Like so often I lose my so train of thought. RJ, yes, RJ, so much. But is it worse now? I can't tell the difference. You always just. <laughs> Yeah, I can't tell what kid is what. I can't tell my cats apart. <laughs> well, I mean, I can tell them apart. It's just when I'm saying their names. Say my name, say my name. Yeah, I've heard you call Lucy like eight times <laughs> today. Or when I catch myself mid-sentence so it turns into... Like Lu Lukey? Yeah. Lukey or Losey? <laughs> Mostly Lukey. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so there's my weather for the week. 91 degrees, Jess, yuck. Okay, um, and then- uh, It's hot for a lot of people in the street, but for me, that's like 130. Oh yeah? Okay, so then, ooh, thank you for the super chat. Um, okay, so now that we have the weather in, we have the meals in for the week, and everything's in, now it's take these plans. Take these broken plans. Okay, um, and I'm not gonna try and fill my whole planner up because that's stupid. I'm just gonna write down what needs to get written down and be okay with what's not. Monday, Monday, Monday. I'm like, this is like jukebox Sunday right here, bitches. Um, okay, Monday, I have a post for my patrons. I have some work I need to finish. And it's the birthday of one of my villagers in Animal Crossing. You didn't think you were going to get through this stream without me mentioning Animal Crossing, now did you? I bet you didn't. So, are there any, like, little birthday stickers on here? Yes, maybe, no. I never use birthday stickers. Like, to be, maybe I'll pull out a Celebrations Collection sticker for that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Shall we? Why not? Why not? That's a cool Okay. These ones are pastel. This is this current collection. So let's see what color we want here for Deirdre's birthday. Mm. Mom. Yes, baby. Why not is the name of a Pokemon. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? But it's spelled W-Y. That is bothersome. 
we will use the little teal guy right here. Little teal Steve. All right. Can I do a flip through of my Animal Crossing bullet journal? Um, I can really quick at the end here. Uh, it's not, it's still, it's only slightly being used right now because I'm still not done working on it. Although there's a whole bunch of like scribbling in it because I'm redoing my flower beds and I'm going to redo them again. Like, <sighs> Why do you keep redoing them? Well, now that I've gotten most of the colors I want, I do want to redo them so I can clone those colors as opposed to relying on the genetics to breed new ones. You just had it planned. So. Why don't you shut your mouth? Why don't you mind your own business? But you should have just had it planned so that when you get more... <laughs> Ooh, Vicky, that's your birthday too. Happy birthday almost. Um, okay, so then we have the patron post and finishing the work. The works. The works I needs to do. Oh, and I think I'm going to start my uh, Crimson Tide. I'm starting to feel the onslaught of the, uh, the cramps. You know what I mean? Like the harbingers. I have a zit on my chin. And I have that crampy feeling of it's coming. <clears throat> so... Yeah, I, uh, that's, that's my, now you know all you need to know about my inner, uh, my inner workings, my inner workings. I can't even tell what's going on in the comments. Okay. And then this is... All right, I have that work to do. Oh, I also need to work and get my inbox cleared out. So we'll write that down here as well. Maybe we'll do some photography. Why not? Let's do some folks, some fox, some foxligraphy. Clear inbox. It doesn't mean I'm going to answer all the emails in my inbox. It just means I'm going to go through and erase all of the... This is how my company is dealing with COVID-19 by my stuff. Emails that I have built up. And then decide which ones to actually respond to. Ah, Thank you, Axis of Anarchy. All right, so that's Monday. That was RJ's hand, Jessica. Yes, good catch. Um, Tuesday, I have my ultrasound at the hospital. And believe you me, I am stressed out about it. Um, I have another post for my patrons, and I need to actually do those things. So, And there is a person at church I need to or uh, email. So... I'm going to, maybe we'll just go right straight along the line like this. Who knows? I like keeping things symmetrical. So I'm not putting these in any given order. Although that and this, these two tasks are likely going to be the ones that take up the bulk of mine time. Mine. Mine time. Jesse's turbo typing. Absolutely. He's playing video games, though. You're playing WoW, right, Jess? Yeah. Yeah? Why do you sound so shamefaced about it? Oh, sorry, no. I'm just... Or did... For all the WoW people, I'm healing and looking for raid. Oh. That explains the sadness. And... 
That was RJ's burp, not Jesse. Right, RJ? It was yours. I didn't burp. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. I would totally take credit for that burp if it was mine. But it wasn't mine. Mom. Yes? Guess how many peas are in this? How many? Five, but there's a, like a shriveled up tiny one, so I don't know if that one should count. Four and a half. RJ's eating snap No, it's peas. like five and a half, look. Oh, that's so pretty though. No, put it under the camera more so people can see it. That is lovely. Hold on, I want to take a picture of that. I don't have my camera out, motherfucker. You see that tiny one though? Will you take a picture of that spread out? Or have Jesse, Jesse, broken, oh, Jesse's yeah, healing well, and looking for parade. God damn like it. It's broken, you want me to do another one? Yeah, if you find a really artistic looking one, take a picture of it and I can do it for fuckery vegetables down the line. Because mm. that was really pretty and I want to paint that. Oh my God, that's the first time I felt that like inspired to paint something in weeks. Wow, RJ, thank you. You're welcome. Who would have known that you would have brought the inspiration because of your incessant snacking? Um, I mean, I would have guessed that it would have been because of RJ's incessant snacking. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put a coffee cup down for going to the hospital because I have to drive out of town and I'm going to probably want to bring some coffee with me. I have an ultrasound on Tuesday morning to take a look at my fistula. For those of you who are brand new to me, I don't know if there's any of you in here. My, my lives don't generally bring tons of new people, but if you are new to me, I do not have an anal fistula. Nothing wrong with having an anal fistula, but I don't have one. I have a AV fistula, which is for dialysis. And my dialysis access is not ready to be used yet. And as my doctor and I expect the dialysis is coming sooner rather than later, we need to make it work. And so I have to go get an ultrasound. And going to the hospital in this current situation is not exciting for me. But... There we go. Ultrasound, look at my planner, looking like I've got shit to do. Oh, there's cramps, okay. All right, my fistula, what is wrong with my fistula? What isn't wrong with my fistula? Um, my fistula, uh, oh man, I'm sorry your central line isn't working. My fistula is, beautiful up until it gets to my shoulder. And then instead of dumping into a big blood vessel, it dumps into a bunch of tiny blood vessels. So it's not going to be able to take the pressure of being used. So my doctor needs to check and see, my surgeon needs to look and see if they can widen it up there or if they're going to have to start over again. So that's kind of what we have to determine this week. Look at this one. Oh, that one's pretty too, but not as pretty. Uh -huh. The reason I liked the other one so much was because it was like spread open uh -huh. as opposed to like a little bed. Do you understand why yeah, I thought it was that like one? The other way around. Do you understand why I thought that one was so pretty though? No. No. Oh, good luck with that, Mel. Um. Oh, I could paint fuckery vegetarians, but I might offend somebody. Um. Okay. Wednesday, I just have a phone call I need to make and I have nothing else on my list. So I'm just gonna leave Wednesday blank. Except for that. Wednesday. I literally don't even remember what the first one looked like. It was beautiful. Oh, there is something I probably should do on Wednesday. Church-related. I need to figure out the ballot situation. Um, I'm the chair of the nominating committee, and normally we vote with paper ballot for... Our job is to get the ballot ready so that the board can have it at the congregational meeting. And we have the nominees all ready to announce, but we have to figure out how we're going to vote because... Um, we're gonna be doing online meeting. And my congregation is mainly elderly people. And so finding a method that everybody feels comfortable with capturing their vote is important. I 
feel like my handwriting is getting slightly neater as I'm moving on with this week. So maybe I'm like getting back into the swing of things. It's like, hell yeah, look, you know how to do shit. You know how to do some stuff. Oh, wait. You have to go in for a CT scan? Good luck, dude. I hope your concert's gone. Cancer. Your cancer. Am I like a fancy person? You have cancer. Like, <laughs> no, that's not, no, that's not fancy. No, Cindy, you need to stop. Inappropriate. Okay, Thursday. Patrons, you probably haven't heard this yet because I haven't posted a calendar because I have no idea what my life is like. I will have a live on Thursday at 4 p.m. unless things change. And hopefully my live at 4 p.m. with you guys will be uh, art for once as opposed to bitching <laughs> about my health. So, yay, question mark. We have that. And I have that finance committee meeting that I thought that I missed. I don't. I didn't miss it. So there is that. Mom. As for the live I'll streams, huh? That one is really pretty. You should get Jesse to take a picture of that. I'll take a picture of it now. Okay. Um, Bring me your inspiring food. Uh, and there will be live streams during the week, you guys. I just don't know if they'll be on. I'm probably going to just do one and then do one on Sunday. I don't want to commit to more than that for just the general public because I don't want to commit to that because I don't know how I'm going to be feeling, but it will be either on Tuesday or Thursday. I just don't know which day yet because I'm getting the ultrasound on Tuesday. Generally, when I get an ultrasound on my fistula, it's really uncomfortable. So I have no idea how, um, how I'm going to be feeling that day. So I just watch the community tab here on YouTube. That's where I make all of my announcements about live streams and stuff is on the community tab. Because I figure if you're on YouTube watching things, I don't want to make you go to Instagram to find out whether or not, or to Facebook to find out if I'm live streaming. If you're on YouTube, then I'm telling you on YouTube. So it's on the community tab. Anyway, um, there was something else I was going to put here. Look. What? Oh. Look. Yummy, yummy. Oh, you're making lips? Ah! I fucked that up so bad. That is a beautiful picture. Artistic photo. Thank you. Artistic photos. Um, and then what did I say? Oh yes, the finance committee meeting. Oh yes, finance committee. So exciting. Ironic, huh? That I'm on the finance committee when I hate money. One for one, I hate money. For two, um, I hate budgets. But because I am a past president, I fit a box to serve on this committee. Committee Zoom, 7.30 p.m. All right. How are the streams going for my church? They're going good. Um, there were Now they can do them without me, which is good because I've been so out of it that I haven't been very helpful the last few weeks. So. Uh, no, no, no. All right. And the patron live. Thank you for the reminder. That was the other one. I know what's happening in my life. How easy was my transition from horizontal to vertical? It was easy because I had done um, hourly right before horizontal and I've done vertical before. And I feel like the transition, unless you do a lot of writing in your planner, the transition from vertical, from horizontal to vertical is easier than vice versa. Transitioning from vertical to horizontal is a lot more, was more confusing for me than the other way around. Which you like more? I like them both for different reasons. Currently, I prefer the vertical. Why? I don't know. I think it was because I had this like feeling that 2020 was going to be my year. And so I changed to a new planner and fuck that. And then so, 2020 happened. Yes. And so that's why I ordered the horizontal oh, worry, to review for next year. Because I was like, this choice of planner 
and this shitty year probably have nothing to do with each other. But that doesn't mean that I'm not superstitious at all. So <laughs> Patreon Live is Facebook, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I will, I'll post tomorrow. Megan, the post is going to go up tomorrow and uh, with all the info. I haven't decided yet. It's 2021. I'm going to do, I have the, or, the hourly, but now I'm getting this daily. Well, I don't know. Fucking, I can't make decisions right now. I got no decisions. I'm sorry about the sirens in the background. I have, I can't make any fucking decisions. Friday. I just need to go. Gro the only thing I have on my list is going grocery shopping. Because of that. Yes. God, are you just like scavenging right now? Yeah. Did you eat lunch? No. Eat some real food then, dude. I have eaten real food. What have Everything you eaten? I've eaten is real food. Oh, man. What did you eat? A cliff bar, uh, some peas, uh, two avocados, uh, I don't remember. Okay, then you can have the chips. Thank you for eating the avocados before they went bad. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I just looked up and you guys all, I don't know if you guys got me yelling at RJ or not. Okay, so the grocery store is on Friday. And then what else? Saturday, we have to wash my sheets. We have to wash the sheets and Kat has a meeting all day. Another one? Yep. Wow. Well, because normally they would have met for a whole weekend. Plus, they um, also needed to do, like, regular meetings anyhow. So, yes, Kat is another meeting. I don't know what time it starts, though. You'd think I'd have that on my plans, but no. Kat. Hi, baby. People are talking about avocados now. <laughs> and I don't know what time it is. So I'll leave space for time. And then we'll put the washing of the sheets. Like the running of the bulls. And then. And that's it for Saturday. Besides relaxing. So I'm not planning a whole bunch of stuff this week. But to be perfectly honest. This is more than I've planned recently. You know, and considering how shitty I'm feeling, I'm proud of myself. Now the question is, will I look at this? I better look at this because otherwise I'm going to miss my fucking finance meeting. Um, all right. What do we got? So Sunday, we're going to have my patron hangout and my live stream with you guys. And church, if I decide to pay attention to that, but I don't know if I will or not. So what I will do is put down... Turn down for what? This is, it's from Cricut Paper Co., but it was swag from the candy shop event. So I don't know if they have anything like this on their website. But Cricut Paper Co. is the shop, and they are awesome. Erica and Cody are fucking rad. So. Wow. What? What the fuck is this, or why do we have it's an avocado, I mean, uh, um, artichoke, my dude. Be careful, don't get stabbed by that. Your dad's allergic to av uh, artichokes, so. This is an avocado. That's an artichoke, dude. That's what you just said it was. Live. Now, what will next live plan, next week's live plan with me be? Will it be fuckery? Will it be something like this? I don't fucking know. We'll find out when we get there and how I'm feeling. I swear to God, like everything I do right now is based on how I'm feeling. I'm like ruling my life based on how I'm feeling right now, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Like, oh, I got to buy turnips too. So that's another Animal Crossing reference. You're welcome. Are these stickers... Yes. Why'd you put them there? 
Why wouldn't I put them there? Yeah, but I'm, I don't, I'm not, how much shit do you think I'm writing down to do this week, RJ? I don't know. <laughs> well, I know. Uh. Buy turnips. Okay. I bought 500k bells worth of turnips today. I'm just saying. Jesse's not allergic to artichokes. Russell, the kid's dad, is allergic to artichokes. I like artichokes. Russell swelled, like, he got poked with one at Trader Joe's once and his hand swelled up. Really? Mm -hmm. He's I allergic. I wonder if I ever saw him working them now. Yeah, he's allergic to artichokes. Yeah. Kind of an odd suggestion, but dancing to your favorite music for exercise is really overrated, underrated. I agree. All right, um... Okay, I so we were around with P90X by swapping out his soundtrack for uh, Kill Switch Engage. Nice. <laughs> um, all right, you guys. So this is what my planner looks like for next week. This was about. There's not a ton, but there's some stuff here, and I am. I am glad to have done it. I think this idea of putting meals down and then just picking off of it and crossing them off once they've been cooked is going to be less overwhelming for me than trying to stick to a meal plan when I'm feeling so shitty. And it's very bright. I don't know, Pam. I don't like artichokes, so. Anyway, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed whatever this plan with me was. Uh, good luck this week. I will tell you guys during the live streams how my ultrasound went as soon as I know. Stay tuned to the community tab for when my lives will be this next week, although there will be one on Sunday unless anything goes wrong. I appreciate all of you for sticking with me during this time. I know you're all going through your own stuff, but coming here and talking to me and hanging out with me when I'm feeling so shitty means a lot to me. No lie. It means a lot to me, and I really appreciate you. I appreciate the super chats. I appreciate the commentary. I even appreciate the puns. And I appreciate if you hit a like on your way out the door because, because likes are the currency of my ego. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. I love you. Wash your hands. Be careful. All that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Hasta la vista, babies.